Hi, this is Marty from Photoshop Art House. I'm going to show you how to make text and graphics look like they're burned into wood. For your convenience, I provided this wood texture that we'll use for this project. Its link is in my video's description or project files. We could use text or high contrast graphics to burn into the wood. If you want to use graphics, open a high contrast black and white image. To ensure that the graphic is pure black and white, press Ctrl or Command L to open the Levels window. Drag the input white level to just inside the point where the histogram rises. Do the same for the input black level. We'll place our graphic onto the wood background. If your Move tool isn't active, press V on your keyboard. Drag the graphic onto the tab of the wood texture. Without releasing your mouse or pen, press and hold the Shift key as you drag it down and release. Pressing Shift kept our graphic centered over the wood texture. To resize the graphic, press Ctrl or Command T to open the Transform tool. Go to a corner and press and hold Alt or Option as you drag it in or out. Then press Enter or Return. If the white background doesn't fill the entire document, Open the Rectangular Marquee tool and drag it over the graphic. Invert the selection by pressing Ctrl or Command Shift I. We'll fill the selection with white, but before we do, check your foreground and background colors. If they aren't black and white, press D on your keyboard. If the colors are inverted, press X. Since white is our background color, press Ctrl or Command plus Delete to fill the selection with white. Deselect it by pressing Ctrl or Command D. Make a copy of it by pressing Ctrl or Command J. Hide the top layer and make the original layer active. Open the Channels panel. If you don't see it, go to Window and Channels. Ctrl or Command click any of the channels to select the graphic. Open back the Layers panel and press the Delete key to delete the entire white background. Then deselect it. Hide the middle layer and make the top layer visible and active. Invert the image by pressing Ctrl or Command I. Go to Filter, Stylize, and Wind. The method is wind, and the direction can be either from the right or left. Click OK or press Enter or Return. Repeat the filter twice more by pressing Ctrl-Alt-F twice on Windows or Command Ctrl-F twice on a Mac. Go back to Filter, Stylize, and Wind. This time, tick the other direction and repeat that filter twice more. Invert the image and go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. Blur it one pixel. Press Ctrl or Command L to open Levels. Make the output black level 72. Change the blend mode to color burn. Control or command click the thumbnail of the middle layer to select its shape. Go to select, modify, and feather. Feather it two pixels. Make a new layer and fill the selection with black. Then deselect it. Reduce the fill to 40%. This reduces the opacity of the layer, but it'll retain the full visibility of the layer style filters we'll be adding to it. Double click the top layer to open its layer style window. Click Inner Glow. Click the box and pick black. 
The blend mode is linear burn, the opacity is 30%, and the noise is zero. The technique is softer, and the source is edge. The choke is zero, and the size is 30 pixels. The contour is linear, and the range is 50%. Next, we'll integrate the tones of the graphic with the wood. Click Blending Options. We'll use Blend If, which uses the luminosity of layers to blend them together. The current layer corresponds to the active layer, and the underlying layer corresponds to all the layers beneath the active layer. Dragging the left slider of the underlying layer to the right punches through the darkest tones of the wood background. Conversely, dragging the right slider of the underlying layer to the left punches through the lightest tones of the wood background. We want to punch through the lightest tones of the wood. However, we can make the transition much smoother by Alt or Option clicking the middle of the right slider, which splits it in half. Drag the inside half of the right slider to the left to reveal the wood gradually. Drag it approximately to 100. Lastly, we'll use Blend If on the other graphics layer to increase the burn effect. Double click the Layer 1 copy to open its layer style window, and Alt or Option click the lower right slider to split it in half. Drag the inside of the slider to 200. This is Marty from Photoshop Art House. Thanks for watching.